Hello everyone, my name is Juliana Gloria. I'm from Physic Education Study Program in State University of Medan. So today, I hope you is very energetic because we are gonna talking about the stretching something. Have you ever played with a slingshot, use a spring bed or bones on a trampoline? That you have a common. Yes, they all involve elastic materials, object then can be straight and return to their original shape. But what happen if you straight them too so much? That's what we are going to explore today. To one of the most elegant laws in classical mechanics, Hooke's law. So before, long ago in the 17th century, a British scientist is named Robert Hooke studied how elastic objects behave when the force are applied. His observation led to a principle that we still study today is engineering, biomechanics, and physics, Hooke's law. Definition of that from Hooke's law state that the force applied to an elastic object is directly proportional to extension or compression its expansions as long as it remains within its elastic limit. In simple terms, when you apply a force to stretch a spring, the spring extends proportionally, but only up to a certain point. Beyond that, the material may become permanently deformed or the even break. So let's the our project in the first video. Here are the things I can use are the spring that I have a power. I have to use two parallel ones. Enough rope for the load on the spring and the horizontal bar where there will be objects further and the weight of the load I use in 9.5 kilograms as well as a ruler used to measure all the initial length of the spring and the final result. So let's see from the project. You can see after the project, I making from the spring vertically with the foot and tights. And the initial length we can see is 19 cm. And this is without adding a load. And you can see of the difference from the first and then second. In here, I make it spring is practically with both and sides. The hung weight in the middle. Also, there's an only water spring. This arrangement forms a parallel system because it has a foot and the bird folders in one place and in a balance. And balance from that the this is passed from a spring circuit and ready for physical analysis. And we can see of difference from the length. And now is the show is 25 cm. So we know about the difference. In the first is a uh, 19 cm and now is 25 cm. And now we should about talking explanation and formula concept. In Hooke's law in mathematical express it as V equal to K times delta x, where V is a force, and K is spring constant, and delta x is an extension. So, we can call V in a physics is half newton, and K is spring constant, newton per met meter, and delta x is meter. And in physical meaning, F is a force, force, and then spring constant, and delta x. Delta x is how much the spring straight do applied a force. So, delta x is have velocity for the force. And then we can calculate the weight force. We use V equals to M times G, where V equals 9,5 times 9,81 is equal to 93,195 Newton. So, sign the true spring and the sporting the weight in parallel, the force is defined V or force H equal 93,195 is equal 46,5989 is half Newton. Insert into Hooke's formula, we can use K V have equals to five two four six comma five nine eight divine to 
zero zero and then comma six three newton meter. Total surface of the parallel system is k total equals to two k equals two times seven seven six comma six three and then define is is this. So we are gonna talking about the different equation of motion. This vertical motion can be modeled with a second order linear different equation. So we can see we take we can have that that the data and we have two things is to this and we have two solution of harmonic oscillator is this. So we can know the general solution is have x times t equal to a cos omega t plus theta with angular frequency omega is half to 12,78 radius second so in this the different equation of the motion after being slightly disturbed the spring system begins oscillating vertically this is called simple harmonic motion or SHM which is a back and forth movement where the tertiary force in proportional and opposite to the displacement frequency of the force equals to minus k times x. The further all the object move of the equilibrium point, the stronger of the referring force becomes. And then, constraint and degrees of freedom. Since the system in existence, it can only move vertically. In words, constraint, no horizontal or lateral movement. Degrees of freedom, only one direction of motion. This concept method is mechanical design such as e robotics, suspension, bridge, and aircraft system. Springs are used in many parts of the life. In the first car suspension, reduce loops, spring scales measure mass stroke force, pressure sensor, gym equipment, even ergonomic matrix. By understanding Hooke's law, we learn how to design systems that are both efficient and safe. This experiment contributes to SDG4 quality education, SDG9 innovation and infrastructure, and SDG SDG 13 is climate action. Physical is not just about formulas; it's a tool to save a be a better future. Motivation is always there, but through physics, we can understand its rim. I am Juliana Gloria. Thank you for joining in this experiment. I hope this video not only brings clarity but also curiosity about how the world works and how can design it easily. Thank you. See you. Goodbye.